In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this really awesome ghost effect, so stick around. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rocker Films, and welcome to this series of Halloween tutorials. With Halloween just around the corner, it felt right to do some awesome Halloween-inspired filmmaking tutorials. So every single day, starting from now all the way up until Halloween on the 31st of October, you can expect to see a brand new creepy Halloween-inspired filmmaking tutorial. So today we're jumping straight in with the ghost effect. And the ghost effect is actually really simple and it's really similar to another effect that we've done on this channel. And that was the fade in and fade out effect. If you haven't seen that video already, then you can go and watch it over here because the technique is very similar. If you have seen it though, then stick around because I'm going to talk you through this effect right now. So to begin with, you want to find the location and you want to mount your camera to a tripod. Now dial your camera settings in to manual mode and make sure that these settings are locked off because you don't want your camera changing settings halfway through filming. So now that your camera is locked off on the tripod, you want to press record. You want to run into the frame and you want to act out your really creepy ghost effect. So you can do a really creepy walk through the corridor. You can look up to the camera really slowly. Do whatever you like and create a really creepy action here. Now, once you've captured this, you want to run out of the shot and you want to leave the camera rolling for around 10 seconds with nobody in the space. This is your clean plate and you need this to do this effect. So make sure you do not neglect the clean plates. So now that you've captured both of those shots, you have the shot of you being a ghost and you have the shot of the clean plates. We can get these into your video editor of choice and begin with the editing process. So once we have our footage loaded up inside of Adobe After Effects, we have our walking shot first. I'm just going to crop the start of this off. And then I'm just going to rename this so that we know which layer is which. So we're going to go into rename and we just call this ghost. And then the second video layer is obviously our clean plate. So we'll just rename that to clean plates. And then I'm just going to drag the clean plate underneath the ghost layer. So we've got the ghost layer on top. We're going to go into opacity and we're just going to pull down the opacity to a smaller number. So I'm going to drop this down to around 30%. And now that's basically the effect kind of complete, but we're going to take this to the next level just so it looks more believable and more realistic. So we're going to go up into layer, new adjustment layer, and we're going to go into the ellipse tool. That's the mask. And we're just going to draw a circle mask around our character. And now in mask, we want to create a brand new keyframe on the mask path. And we want to update this mask so that it follows the ghost throughout the entire shot. So take your time with this. Make sure you do a great job of this. Make sure it looks really clean. And even if your character goes off screen, make sure this mask still follows their action because we're going to add some glow to this effect now. So in effects and presets, we want to go and search for levels and we'll drop levels on top of this mask. We'll pull the input white up to a higher number and then we'll go into the mask and we'll pull the feathering up. Now this is a juggling act here and each different shot will require a different set of numbers. So don't take these numbers as a set determined amount. Experiment with your shot and see what looks best. Just make sure that you add a little bit of extra light and make sure that your mask is feathered. And now one last thing to sell this effect off, we just need to get rid of the glow on the walls before the character appears. So we're going to copy the clean plates. We'll go into the pen tool and we're just going to draw a mask around the doors that I enter and leave from. And now obviously we can't see the character because the mask is in the way. So we're going to go into the masks and we're just going to invert this. And now if we play this back from the very beginning, you will see that the character and the glow stay behind the door. They walk onto screen and then back behind that door. And there you go. And now to progress from here, we're just going to add some handheld shape just to make this effect look more believable. We're going to select all of the video layers, pre-compose. We can rename this pre-composition to ghost. And now in the effects and presets tab, we want to search for Wigglerama. Drop Wigglerama on top of the pre-composition. And now we just want to go through here and we just want to basically update these settings. We don't want the movement to be too aggressive. We don't want this to be too jittery. We don't want this to be wailing everywhere. So we're just going to update these settings and pull the scale of our composition up a touch just so we can't see the edges of the video. 
And now when you get this to a setting that you're happy with and it looks realistic and believable, you can go ahead and you can export this video and get this imported into your project. And there you go, that is the ghost effect. Really simple, really easy, really quick. And that's it. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon, and I will see you tomorrow for more really creepy Halloween tutorials. See you there.